Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am honored to invite you to join me in a class that I will be teaching for the University of the Pacific. It's called Six Biblical Conundrums and how archaeology and various aspects of science can help us resolve them. I'll be teaching from Tuesday, February the 1st through Tuesday, March the 8th, each Tuesday from 12 to 2. Our class will cover a six conundrums, one session per conundrum. The first regards the creation story and the creation of the universe. What we learn from modern astrophysics and cosmology and astronomy is that this is more or less what scientists think the universe looked like over the past 13.8 billion years. The Bible tells a different story. Which one is right? Interestingly, a careful comparison of the two stories yields some very unusual, unexpected, perhaps even controversial results. We'll do the same thing with the story of Noah's flood. What does geology, meteorology, and archaeology tell us about that flood and the odds that it actually did happen? There again, the results of a careful comparison can be surprising. Then we will turn to the story of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the biblical patriarchs. Were they real people? Did they do the things that the Bible says they did? Did Abraham actually pimp his wife to the Pharaoh of Egypt and charge the Pharaoh 1,000 pieces of silver for that delightful night that he spent with her? Well, we'll see. This is what archeology span and Egyptology tells us about what Abraham's coterie might have looked like. And it's a capital M for might have looked like. Then we'll turn to the Exodus. Did it happen? What are the elements in Assyriology, Egyptology, and archeology span that allow us to reconstruct it, if indeed it happened at all? Then we'll turn to King David, King David and his dynasty. Did he really exist? And did he do all the terrible things the Bible said he did? And did his dynasty last for 500 years? We'll conclude with a careful look at the Dead Sea Scrolls, arguably the single most important archaeological find of the 20th century. I look forward to seeing you. Hello, dear Oli students, I'm Minette Isaacs and I'm a German historian and public educator and I'm so thrilled to be back via Zoom for a five-week seminar that I think is going to be really, really fascinating for many of you. It is called From Normality or Between Normality and Terror, Everyday Life in Nazi Germany. And we are going to talk about Nazi Germany in many different ways. So every week we're going to take a look at a different paradigm. So for example, one week we're going to talk about women in Nazi Germany. Then the next week we're going to talk about what the relationship between Hitler and the German people was like. This seemingly really kind of magical bond that was formed in 1933 and then of course we're going to take a look at how this bond during those 12 years of uh, the reign of Nazi Germany was evolving and then of course how it broke and then we are also going to talk about something very timely which is the 60th anniversary of the Eichmann trial. Uh, there are a lot of things that I've, I'm sure you would be very interested in, uh, in knowing and so so this seminar starts on February 23rd at uh, 3.30 p.m. your time and it's going to be a two-hour class so it's going to be basically five weeks basically like a 10-hour class and uh, I'm I would be really happy if you would sign up for that and if I could see you via Zoom because I'm not in California I'm actually in Fort Myers Florida so Thank goodness that we have Zoom and that we can get together in um, this wonderful academic setting. So thank you so much and have a wonderful uh, rest of your day.